What's up? Audubon Dan here. My ghetto studio just got less ghetto. I got a backdrop now. Gotta get the wrinkles out, but it's a backdrop. It's looking good. Let's get on to this unboxing. See what we got inside. Big box deserves a big knife. I'm gonna use my hardline knife. Here's the part number right here. Let's see what is inside. I've been sitting on this for like a couple days now. We need to get to it. All right, first off we have Weeha, Weeha hat. Part number 91460. Hat, dark gray. There it is. Flex Fit Tech. It is a snapback. So keep that in mind. And it looks like it looks uh, black on the, the website, but it's not. It's an actual gray. So keep that in mind also. Nice little Weeha logo on the side. Pretty nice hat. It'll run you about $16.99 right now on sale. Casey Tool. So definitely pick that up before it goes back up again. Pretty cool. Alright, let's see what else we got inside. Looks like it's all punched up in here. Looks like the uh bit oh thanks is uh over i've already seen someone else with uh bit oh thanks not uh showing up in their package so i think uh once they're gone they're gone i jumped in on it and got quite a few if you look on my instagram you see a post uh, of all the ones i got so far and uh let's start with the bits let's get a closer look here all right so audubon studios is looking pretty nice my backdrop is uh, kind of looking like the KC Tool Studios. <laughs> so let's get on to these bits right now. Uh, just in case you didn't know, I work on uh, BMWs and Minis and a little bit of Mercedes. So I've been running into hex a lot lately and uh, uh, I don't really need many sizes. So I got a four, five and a six right here. Uh, I think that's pretty much all they make from a three to a six, that's it. And uh, you'll get different lengths and that's about it. And then it's hard to find the sets and all that, but yeah, if you just need the basic sets, that's basic uh, single ones, that's it. You're set to go. And I've been finding myself using uh, uh, the uh, impact a lot. So uh, this makes it a lot easier. Just stick it on the impact. One solid bit. You don't lose any torque. You don't have to put an adapter on. You just uh, put this puppy in and you're set to go. I got two different sizes here, two different ones to choose, different brands and if you notice it's uh got the little concave uh tip on here it's uh the wear a hex plus technology prevents rounding of screws recess and transfers up to 20 percent more torque that's what it says on the website and uh, these will run you about 650 each and uh pretty nice bit not much more to say about them doesn't say impact rated but uh yeah these will these will do you good bad maybe these might uh, put a little havoc on your anvil here on your gun but uh definitely look at the machining on that it's pretty nice so yeah these are cool 89 millimeters long let's break out the old uh, Stavella steel rule here it is part number right here 131110 and uh yeah, 89 millimeters is about roughly three and a half. And these are 49 millimeters. And basically two inches. So the uh, Beha Terminator bits, pretty nice. They are optimized for hard screwing and for impact application. So these actually do say impact. 
applications uh, ideal for high torque performance drills impact wrenches double the lifetime of high performance impact bits at least three times the torsion of standard bits easily handling for bit changing and bit storage and this has a extra thick uh, plastic piece on it it's good for identification definitely and uh, as you go bigger it's just a sleeve so you can, you can see it's bigger sleeve on the next size up and just a regular sleeve on the what is this uh five millimeters so they write their their numbers right on the end so this, this will be a four this will be a three be a five nothing really much on the side other than the logo not bad these will run you about two bucks each on the KC Tool website. So not bad. Can't wait to get these to good use and uh, compare to both. Um, I'll report uh, on Instagram if uh, anything goes wrong. Maybe do a couple more posts later on. We'll see how that goes. And let's get on to the next thing. All right, let's get into some Stavella goodness. Here we have the 415 QRN. Let's open this bad boy up here. Peeking down at you, right down there. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, <laughs> listen to those teeth. I don't know if it has any back. Yeah, it's a little tight. There's a little back uh, drag on it. We'll have to see if that loosens up over time, but yeah, those teeth are tiny. Yeah. This is a quick release. So the uh, 415QR is the non-fine tooth, and the 415QRN is the fine tooth. So make sure you get the N on the end of it. They're both run you about hundred bucks, and uh, I've seen them as low as uh, forty nine to seventy. So yeah, keep an eye out for these. So then there's a longer version, and I think a flex too. Pretty nice, Stavella handle. Let's see what else comes inside. Looks like a little pamphlet. Part numbers if you want to see right here. Made in Germany. Looks like an instruction manual. Oh, right on. Nice. Tells you how to disassemble it. Or how to oil it too for frequent use. Not very many ratchets come with that. Infrequent use. Very nice. Gives you the kit numbers here, it looks like, too. Pretty nice. There's the Paul right there. You can brush your teeth with it. <laughs> Tells you exactly where to put the oil. Wow. Uh, leave it up to the Germans. <laughs> pretty cool very nice ratchet yeah pretty sure to loosen up over time yeah back drag is one of those features some people like yeah so I'm willing to show that and uh yeah, a quick release here pretty nice I will compare this to the Vera and uh, the new Hazet. Uh, I think I'll make it another video. I was thinking of squeezing in here, but uh, maybe a little too long. Definitely, I'll do a comparison of those three. Once again, pretty nice. I got the grand finale here, and if you can guess for the size of the box, we got 
this bad boy here. Santa. <laughs> I got last year's calendar and then uh, now I just had to get this one. Definitely for sure. Let's look at the part number here. Should be it right there. Oh, pretty nice. Yeah, they got the uh, all the years in the back here. Get a closer look. Pretty nice. It was all the way back to 2010. Got to be a Tool Rebel logo down here. And here's your stubby bottle opener. And this would be my first corkscrew. I haven't gone to corkscrew yet, either from uh, Beha or anybody else. Comes with everything you see here. <laughs> Another hex too. <laughs> awesome. T handle. So what do you think? Should I open this thing up? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the last year's where you get the actual box inside of a box. <laughs> and I think you can pull the whole thing out. Yeah, you should be able to pull the whole thing out. Here's a nicer view of all the years here. Oh, and it does come with the... Uh, Call it picture frame type deal here. Let's see how it stands up. <laughs> Not bad. Put this next to your tree. So, how many? Yeah, it should be all 25 there, yeah. Just open each door, and each day of Christmas uh, month, you can have yourself a little treat. So much engineering goes in these, it's pretty nice. All this paperwork. <laughs> it's a on the inside here. So it should open up. <laughs> nice. So here's the inside. Some videos where people say you can use these as uh, little holders. Definitely can cut this out, maybe use it as a tray in your toolbox. That's pretty thick stuff. Oh man, <laughs> so here it is the stubby bottle opener. Very nice. on my list of items to get. <laughs> and we got this stubby driver. Very nice. And it should be magnetic. Yes. Oh yeah. Pretty strong. So here we have the five millimeter. And this is yeah. Fifty millimeters. Alright, so I pulled everything out to save you the headache of uh, listening to me pull each one <laughs> individually out. <laughs> so, uh, I'll start off with the case here. Your typical bear case. You can twist these, I think, in any position. I don't think they're twist and lock. Let's see. So, I've got the typical 8 here. Oh, yeah, they're, they're a twist and lock. And then the 10. The nice knurling on the end and the uh, take it easy finder so they're all all the same color all across the board with the wrenches and everything 10 millimeter wrench would be uh, yellow also and 
13. Very nice because these are the three common ones I use. Pretty cool. The Velcro here and the uh, standout Vera patching here. There. Also, yeah, oh, here it is, yeah. It tells you to unlock it and lock it there. This is also rubber here, too. Pretty nice. This is the back of it. Oh, folds up like that. And Velcro so you can mount it on the other things. And uh, looks like your uh, sheet here for all the uh, all the pieces, I think. Let me pause that right there. If you want to read that, this must be the the deal for the Velcro. Yeah. Nice. And uh, T handles. Got that uh, ejector bit on there. I have a four, five, and six hex right here. Locks in pretty well. There's a tether hole. Sweet. That should go into one of those. The bottle opener goes right there. <laughs> and a little bit driver. And the corkscrew. Pretty, pretty nice. Both are matching. All right, so about an hour later, I figured out how it goes. <laughs> you got a three, a four, and a five hex, a 15, a 20, and a 25 Torx, uh, one and two posi drive, and a flathead, and a one and two regular, and a quarter inch drive. 25, a 30, and a 40, and a 4, and a 5, and a 6. All nice and neat in this package. Don't forget the 8, the 10, and the 13 here. And these are just for the tools only, not the fun. <laughs> so, yeah, this flap just covers the rest here. That covers the top. Just goes in nice and neat like that. Very well made. So this will all run you $73.95. If you can't wait till Christmas, get it now. Um, pretty sure it first run may run out, so if you're gonna get it, get it now. You never know. You might have to wait till the next year or something. Um, yeah, so definitely very nice kit. And I got Tools was kind enough to give me another one for a giveaway, and uh, thinking of doing a giveaway here on YouTube. So my date would probably be October twelfth. Yeah, October twelfth, Saturday, October twelfth, midday. Put your notifications on. I'll do it live, and uh, go from there. Hopefully, everybody has a way of getting uh, messages uh, promoted on my Instagram. Send everybody over to here for that day. I'm thinking maybe three o'clock on a Saturday, October 12th. Uh, don't worry, I'll keep posting on my Instagram so uh, you'll be reminded. So definitely nice haul, nice giveaway. You'll have it before Christmas. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, and on to the next one. Thanks guys.